This is the lock picking lawyer. The lock I have for you today is an EVA DPS. It was sent to me by Bosnian Bill, so thank you very much for this cool lock, Bill. I, I certainly appreciate it. The DPS is an interesting lock because it has a passive sidebar with a small active element that can be a real trap for the wary if you don't know what to expect in here, um, literally leading to locking the core up and being very, very difficult to recover, it, recover from. So let me pick this open and then I will take it apart. I'll show you what's inside and I'll show you what pickers need to be wary of whenever they face a lock like this. Okay, I'm gonna be using top of the keyway tension and I'm using my number seven hook to deal with, you know, obviously this has some really, some really tough warding. So it's gonna be, that's gonna be the biggest issue with this lock will be navigating the warding. Okay, nothing out of one, it's springy. Two's binding, I'm lifting up on him. Got a little click and got my pick stuck in between the warding. Okay, oh, is that, yeah, it looks like one's binding on us now. Let me lift him up. He is really high. Okay, and we just dropped into a false set. Let's move on to, see if we can find three. Okay. I think I set him, but I I lost my false set. I'm pushing on two now and one again to try to get that false set back. There we go. Okay, let's find number four. Okay, four, we're getting some counter rotation on. I set him, but again, lost my false set. And that's two I just reset and come on one and let me try to go back to oh, got my pick stuck again let me find five and getting counter rotation on five mm. Okay, I think I got five and I lost my false set again. <laughs> Seems to be a common theme here. And I'm hitting one and two to try to get that false set back. And it's open, great. Okay, let me take this apart and I will, I will show you what's inside. Okay, I've already removed the clip from this. Okay, let's get these uh, these key pins out, and then I will show you the the sidebar. some reason the pins on this locker will not fall out no matter how much you bang on them. Must, it's a really tight fit, probably a very well machined and, uh, and precise lock. Come on. There we go. Okay, all standard key pins. Then over here we have our passive sidebar. Let me pull this out and I'll give you a close-up of it. If I can get the focus to work. There we go. Now you can see on the back of the sidebar it has these cuts that actually line up with cuts in the key, but it also has this little tiny active element there that if the key is not in and this little knob doesn't push it out, it collapses. And the consequences of that collapsing is, you'll see it lines up right with 
these little notches here. And there's just enough space there for the driver from pin stack, no to, from pin stack number three to get trapped in there. And the only way to release the core is to reach in and push this tiny little knob, if you're even able to find it. Creates a really incredible trap for, for pickers. And I'd imagine if you need to rotate this 360 degrees or more, it would be a very, very difficult lock to pick. Let's pull the driver pins out. I'll show you what's there. First is a standard. Second is standard. Third is a spool. Fourth is a spool, really long spools. And fifth is a long spool as well. So let me give you a close up of this. This is the EVA DPS, all standard pins except for the drivers in pin stacks three, four, and five. We have our passive sidebar that is meant mainly for key profiling, but it also has that little active element that can lock the core up if it's not addressed properly. That goes in here. And of course, probably the largest pick obstacle on the lock is that really nasty keyway it's got. So that's it for now. Thank you very much for sending this cool lock to me, Bosnian Bill. To everyone else, if you have any questions or comments about this video, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.